right here i'm here for day 17 of bookman so the topic for today's video is the books that i have already pre-ordered for 2022 i started doing this last year and i actually most of the time really liked it i choose one new release and i pre-order it from bookshop.com i tend to do a lot of pre-ordering through amazon and actually no not amazon barnes and noble i tend to buy most of my books from barnes and noble but i do want to give back to some indie bookstores so i always pre-order through bookshop.org not affiliated anyway but i just think it makes me feel a little bit better and i'm supporting local bookstores all of my money goes to book books of wonder which is a bookstore in the city that i regularly go to and just can't get there nearly enough especially since the pandemic has occurred um i used to be an avid book shopper on the week i'm like you know days off from work but because of the pandemic i've been going to the city less and less so i get there less and less but at least i feel a little bit better if i'm supporting bookshop through rog and the, my proceeds are going to books of wonder so um let's get into the books that i have pre-ordered till about may and then in may i'll do another video but i just want to talk about the books that I've pre-ordered. So in January, I am pre-ordering two books, and one is actually an adult book, and it's called Daughter of the Moon Goddess. So here's that photo. This book was the cover, I'll be very honest, and it's the first adult book that I pre-ordered, probably ever. I don't really pre-order adult books very often, but the cover got me. It's mythology theme, which is definitely a big drive for me. The summary, which I've talked about in my previous videos, like many, many times. Um, a captivating debut fantasy inspired by the legend of the Chinese moon goddess, in which a young woman's quest to free her mother pits her against the most powerful immortal in the realm and sets her on a dangerous path with deadly consequences. And it may include more than just losing her heart. So really excited for that one. That comes out in early January. I hope to get to it. Hope that will be my sneak peek of one of my goals, my January um, debut, um, my January um, adult fantasy book that I tackle. And the next book that I'm going to read or pre-order in January was When You Get a Ch When You Get the Chance by Emma Lord. And here's a photo of that one. This book I've talked about in so many of my other previous videos, but I'm really excited for this one. I am a drama kid. I I'm a theater teacher. This is a Mamma Mia inspired retelling where you follow this girl. She's a theater kid, but she doesn't feel really connected to her dad or like anyone in her life because she's never met, met her mom. So she has this idea to sort of go back through her dad's live journal photos and figure out which person is her mother. That sounds delightful. I think it's set in New York City and I just want to read this. I really do. I think it'll be fun. I really like Emma Lord's writing style. I will probably reread Tweet Cute this year because I love that book so much. The audiobook is spectacular. But yes, another book that I'm really excited for. So much so that I had to pre-order it. I only pre-ordered one book, um, and that is It's All in How You Fall by Sarah Henning. Here is a photo. It's gymnastics. So whenever I find books about gymnastics, I always am like adamant to get it. Um, but this book I'm really excited for. Um, it, it, it follows um, a main character whose whole goal is to be a collegiate gymnast, but she has really, really bad back spasms. So she knows she's never going to be able to be elite and go to the Olympics, but her whole goal is to survive and be not injured less enough so that she can go to collegiate. But something happens and she has a career ending injury and she has to sort of like work her way to finding something she loves just as much as gymnastics she winds up meeting this boy and he winds up making her try different sports and every single time she finds she tries a new sport she gets to set him up on a date and i think she winds up falling for him that's really 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 cool i'm really excited for this one and hope i'm able to pick it up in february i tend to read a lot of romances in february as well there are two books in march one is from bookshop.org and that is Always Jane by Jen Bennett. Here is a photo. Really cute romance. I've loved all of Jen Bennett's books. I've read them all except for her debut, which I'll get around to eventually. But this book follows a young girl, and she is a chauffeur's daughter, and she wound up getting involved with these two best friends. Love Triangle will probably insert, but there's a dog on the cover. So I'm immediately intrigued. I don't need to know enough anything more about the summary to know that I'm definitely going to pick it up. And that's why I pre-ordered it. 
it's actually from Barnes and Noble because they were having a pre-order sale at some point in the past three to four months. Is Galliant by by Victoria Schwab. Actually, it's V. E. Schwab, but I don't know much about this book. I know I know I like to go into her books pretty blind, um, but I know it takes place at like isolated town. There's some mystical elements to it. I'm really intrigued. I still have to get around to reading her other book, the um, the Addie LaRue one, but this one is one that caught my eye, especially the cover, so that's why I pre-ordered it. I pre-ordered in the month of April was Flirting with Face by J.C. Cervantes, which if you are Rick Riordan Presents author, she is one of those authors. This is a book she's publishing through Penguin, but I'm really excited for it, and it seems to have a mythology myth sort of twist. It just sounds really, really cute. You follow this young girl, and in their family, gifts are passed down. When a, when a member of the family dies, she's rushing to try to get to her grandmother's deathbed, but there's a flood, and she winds up getting to an accident with this young man, and then her gift winds up passing on to this random young man. <laughs> that sounds delightful and just so ironic and so funny. I'm here for it. I really did like J.C. Cervantes' writing style. I still have to finish one more book in that mini series, but... I really am excited for this book. It sounds super fun, and I think it seems like a perfect spring read, so I hope to get around to it as soon as it comes out. The order in April was Sense and Second Degree Murder. This is book two in the Jane Austen mystery series. Here is a photo. A Sense and the Sensibility remix, um, but it follows two sisters, a detective and a... I think it's like an a detective, an investigator, or detective and a lawyer. Two ca two sisters, and they're trying to um, solve what happened to their father after their father is murdered, and they're working together to try to figure out what's happening. Oh, I'm sorry. I think it's a de I think it's a detective and a scientist, and they're sort of working together to figure out what happened to their father. I really did like Pride and Premeditation. I thought it was a really really fun read, and hopefully this one is just as fun as that one. Um, and then the last book I'm going to chat about in this read in this little, um, you know, book pre-order video that I'm making is Melt With You, which is coming out in May, um, and it is by Jennifer Dugan. All of Jennifer Dugan's book. I love Verona Comics, definitely a hard-hitting read, and I really loved the book that she wrote last year. I can't remember the title of it, but it had to do with the track stars, and they were working together. This book follows two characters. Their moms own a like an like a ice cream truck together, and they were contemplating dating, and then a lot of miscommunication happened, and they didn't wind up dating, and now they're sort of like not talking, and they're sort of mad at each other. But when they're forced to go on a cross country road trip to try to give away ice cream as part of a publicity stunt for their mom's ice cream business, feelings, romance, and maybe some first kisses might occur. So. I'm really excited for this one. It seems like it will be a great early summer read, and hopefully I get around to reading it too soon. But yeah, those are all the books that I'm definitely pre-ordering for 2022, and I will hope to definitely like buy more books, but these are the ones that I wanted to pre-order. My thoughts on pre-orders is I tend to pre-order contemporaries and sequels for the most part. Those books are never in book boxes. It's so hard to find contemporaries in book boxes. It's just what I've noticed. So I felt pretty confident not pre-ordering some fantasy books was probably a good idea because I still get Owl Crate. Um, yeah, so that's why I pre-order a lot of like, um, I pre-order a lot of young adult contemporaries for that reason. So I'll talk to you guys for my next video of Bookmas and I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye, friends.